going live man okay so hi folks welcome back to my channel today uh, this week we've got a special guest it's uh, dean rover of dean rover films hey dean how are you doing <laughs> hi everyone um what's up man uh, hey, so uh, thanks for inviting me here on your uh, youtube channel <laughs> hey, no, man. no problem man it's a pleasure so uh, yeah just want to yes, uh, get some insights you know on how you're doing um you know i just want to ask a couple things okay um maybe you can tell something about you know your, yourself like how you started in photography or videography and go from there perfect um so um talking about a little bit of background about myself I am, I'm actually a nurse by profession. Um, I didn't really, I'm a licensed nurse in the Philippines, but I didn't really work as a nurse in Canada because um, it's a long process. I tried, I tried, uh, you know, I, I, I think there's a lot of Filipinos that, uh, that are nurses in the Philippines and moved in Canada. Uh, and try and most of them become successful but me uh, for me um i think this is really my my field uh or forte because when i was when i when i'm just when we're, we got here in canada we my aunt referred me to some of of her uh of her friends um to do some baptism you know that's how we start right baptism birthdays and pretty much anything i actually do uh photography uh, uh starter uh here uh, because i don't really have the equipment yet when i was uh when i when i got here in canada um, but i've been doing it in the philippines since 2010 um, um as a photographer in the philippines pretty much you, ha you have to know everything when when you're in the wedding field uh, wedding uh, industry there uh from photography videography pl planning um so if you're a photographer you pretty much uh have need to find a, a lighting um person that's going to help you and coordinate with everything so yeah um right on so far <laughs> so far everything is good there in canada and i'm pretty happy with that um everything is successful until the covid is here <laughs> yeah. i know we have a prosperous um uh, you know years in the past you know we've been um just so everyone know me and dean are you know almost shooting all the time well not all the time but most of the time uh so it's nice to have someone that you know so that way when you're shooting a uh, photo and then you know dean's shooting video you know we have like that jive that uh you know we you know give and take right and and and, and that's sure. good because clients you know wanted to see that too that you know you you mm -hmm. work with each other right and same thing yes. Yeah, same thing with the vendors. And, you know, we're on the same boat, you know, like I started 2010, just like you. And, um, you know, you, you've got a good taste in cars, too. We've got the same <laughs> <laughs> interest. So so that's really nice. OK, well, today's uh, uh, topic, you know, uh, if you will, you know, um, and also for our viewers out there who are starting out of photography or already started, you know, the, the photography basic. We just want to go to like an 102, you know, like next step. So, you know, uh, so what do you do after you take your photos, you know? Uh, and, and that's where we're here, you know? So I just want to talk about like, like the workflow basically, okay? Like me, before I, before I go to like an event or photo shoot, the first thing I do is, you know, uh, of course, overnight, make, make sure all my batteries are fully charged, okay? Um, what I do is I take out my camera first and take a photo before I go to event, okay? So that tells me three things. The camera is working, uh, memory card is in there, and the battery is charged. So like, so before I go to shoot, I, I change, you know, I, I charge all my stuff, my batteries, um, just to make sure everything is, uh, you know, uh, good to go and up and running. I've been into a situation where, you know, like uh, I, had, I had this, you know, the Canon 5D Mark III, I have like a, like a two, you know, it has like a two, oh, two slots, That's right? Classic. <laughs> yeah, right. So I used to have that. 
and I've got a, a 50D. So I went to a photo shoot and not knowing there's no memory card on my 5D Mark III. So I ended up using the 50D, you know, and it turns out nice, but I learned my lesson from that day. So that's why every time I go shoot, the first thing I do is uh, take out my camera, take a photo. <laughs> and again, you know, th th that pretty much tells you that the camera is working, your battery is in there, your memory card is in there. Um, yeah, it, it's ready to go. And yes. then I put it in my bag and then there you go. So like, how about you? How, how do you prepare for your, you know, for, for your yeah. workflow before we actually go into the actual, um, you know, like back put, capture data and yeah. stuff like that? So. Well, before before that before that i just want to say that um when you are starting it doesn't you you pretty much don't need everything um since since 2010 uh the, when i got my first dslr which is i think nikon d3000 um i have the kit lens there by 2011 i'm already f shooting weddings using that camera so yeah what i what i'm trying to say is it's not it's it doesn't matter what camera you have as long as you try to pursue what you really want to do um i think that's the, the the most important um and i just after i don't know one more year i upgraded to nikon d5100 and i'm i'm shooting like weddings in Manila, which is the, the center, the, you know, the main city in the Philippines. Um, and I'm, I'm shooting like 60,000 worth photography and videography already with, with just that camera. And I, I mean, it, for, for me, it's just, you know, you have to be, uh, you have to be, you have to trust yourself and you just have to just do it. Right. Like, um and what i did by that time is uh, i mean i'm I'm also scared for example if my camera fails i don't have extra camera buddy so what i did by the time i have a plan b um so i hired uh, some of my um friends and connect with some of the people in our in our place to help me so pretty much in a wedding in the philippines there's like two to three photographers two to three videographers so if one camera fails you, for sure there's another photographer that's going to cover the event so you just have to um you know um uh, always have a you know, plan b for everything uh, in case you know um and i mean like like i said it doesn't matter what camera you you have when you're starting the the main the main thing is if you have a camera just go outside and start doing your thing and share it with everyone and connect with people. I think that's the, the very important uh, thing when you're starting. Have you ever heard of uh, the gas syndrome? I don't know if you if you know that term. Mm, no. Uh, gas, no gear acquisition syndrome. You know, like when you start into photography, you always think of, you know, getting a better camera will make you a better photographer. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I fall into that pit as well, you know, like, because- I think everyone, I think I, everyone was I, still right. on that uh, position. Yeah, because it's it's something that you know you you know you you want to have something new. It makes you feel that you know you're it's gonna make you better, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've I've been into that. You know, I've owned uh, like Trinity lenses and stuff like that. But right now, I'm I'm very minimal. You know, I'm I'm now shooting mirrorless, and I don't want to bring like a lot of stuff with me. So, uh, so yeah, you're right. So that's a good advice, you know, especially for those yeah. uh, you know. Uh, photographers that are starting out um yeah. so you know the best camera is the camera that you have right like uh, I, I mean i mean it's always nice to upgrade um for me the first thing that you when you're starting i think the very first thing that you have to improve is your skills first and then if you have the skills and you maximize your equipment and if you, if if you if there's a chance that you're able to you know step to the next level then do it but if, um, you know, if you're still trying to, you know, trying to market yourself and you, you, you want to upgrade right away, for me, it's not a good idea. Um, it's always, you know, it's always the skills first and upgrade. It's always nice to have a better camera, but uh, I think it will help you finish the job a lot easier and make it 
make it more you can upgrade your pricing just having those uh nice cameras that 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 is out right now in the market but the skills is the the one that's going to bring you to the top yeah. so if you if you have a if you have a new camera and you didn't upgrade your skills it's i mean i just recently somebody posted in in facebook they shoot a wedding using an iphone 11 iphone 12 and yeah. people some some people didn't even know that it's an iphone 12 yeah, but it's more it, it's it, i think it's the way this artistic way that you want uh that you want to go to and you you just have to trust yourself on on that part right yeah like as i develop myself my skills i i you know eventually look at uh, like cameras as tools rather than you know like mm -hmm. fashion statement right if you will yeah. um yeah like uh like I, i'm not you know um uh, what do you call this? So, you know, like these, uh, like newer cameras. I, I, I'm not tempted to buy them anymore mm -hmm. because, like me, like my, my idea is, you know, like my, my in terms of my workflow and my gear is, I need to know the limitation first of my camera before I can, you know, yes. uh, step up. Right? If I know that mm -hmm. this camera can't do it, and then you know, I'll upgrade. But you know, mm -hmm. if, if if this works, this does the job, then you know, I'm gonna keep it, and uh, yeah. Make, it, it also de yeah it also depends on the market that you want to go um like for videography we all we have all these sony cameras that that came out which is some of them starting from 1800 to 2000 um i mean it does the job um but then if you want to go more professionally there's uh, a second level for that which is the cinema line for the sony's and that will help you a lot marketing on the on a different uh, clientele, which is, for example, commercial, corporate, you know, those kind of stuff. Um, um, so yeah, I mean, the, the equipment really, it really depends on the market that you want to go. Like for me, with the weddings, um, I'm happy with all my Sony DSLRs, but I'm starting to move to the corporate side right now. Um, it The Sony that I have can, still able to do the job but for example i um when i saw a post online there's a producer looking for a cinematographer and she's looking for a specific you know a qualification for that commercial that she wants to do and i was not i don't have the equipment for that or i don't i didn't have the uh, experience that you know i used that camera already before for example red cameras Black Magic Cinema. Um, Man, those are high end. I don't have I don't have the portfolio for that. So how am I gonna apply for that job if I don't have the portfolio, right? So um, at the end of the day, like it, I'm probably gonna buy a Black Magic camera or a different brand that's gonna help me go to that market. So right. Okay. So that. Kind of gives us a, a nice uh, introduction about you know what gears maybe you would have before you start your gig you know workflow um it's always nice to have a backup you know that would be something i i would suggest you know i've i've sh I shot a wedding with one camera i used to have like a canon i started with a t t t2i 550 d you know i've only got one camera um but how about you guys you know if you would you shoot a t you know a canon rebel on the wedding you know comment down below See if, if if that's okay for you, you know, would you would you do that or would you would you show up in a wedding, you know, with 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 a small camera, rebel camera, or in the D fifty hundred, or would, would you know would you do like a full frame? So let us know. Okay, so now we're gonna go to um, uh, a next question, you know, if you will. Uh, so what would you do, like, if you so so what's what's your so after you shoot, Dean, what, what do you normally do? You know, you go home and then you, you back up your camera or what's your workflow? Well, after the wedding, normally I just put everything in the basement and I start <laughs> resting. So because whenever we finish a wedding, a excuse, it's almost yeah. like 1030 to 11. Um, I don't want to sit down in the computer with my mind that is really tired and you know, started backing up. I don't, 
I don't really do that. I just want to, you know, uh, re relax and rest for a bit. Um, I mean, I was able to do that because um, my whenever we do, for example, same day edit, um, usually the, the files are backed up already on the laptop. Um, oh, yeah, right. So it's there already in case the memory card fails or and I have a I have the files already in the computer. But if we're not doing a same day edit, then still that's what I do. I just make sure that all the cards are in the, you know, um are are there uh, in the first place. Um and then secured before I before I go to bed or something. Um sometimes, you know, if we finish early, like 9 p.m. or 10, which is very rare. <laughs> then I sit down and you know I started transferring all the files. That's what we usually. That's what I what I usually do. But would you? It's always that? nice to have a clear clear mind to sit down and think about you know all those shots that yeah. you have and transfer. That's good. Yeah. Would you shoot a wedding like even a small wedding with one like SD slot? You know, that's always a uh, the controversy. You know, like oh well, you know. You better shoot with two SD so Would you? Would you do it? Or let's just say you're a beginner. Of course, you don't have the money to spend, right? To uh, to get a, a camera with the twin mm -hmm. slot. So, uh, what are your thoughts about it? I mean, it really depends uh, of the wedding that you're filming. If it's if the client pays you, uh, you know, a, a bunch of, you know, if the clients get your high end package. I mean, for me. It's cheating that I'm gonna I'm gonna film her wedding using cheap cameras or um, entry. I mean entry level is fine. Uh, if I'm not gonna be that secured filming her wedding, uh, for me I feel um, upset about it or un unfair for the client. Now if the clients, um, if the wedding is um, really chill and you know probably four hours six hours. Then I'm okay using using that camera that I have. So um, it's always a, um, I mean, you get what you paid for, right? So um, it, the the right budget for the right equipment. I, I always believe in that. Um, so yeah, but at the end of the day, you just make sure that um, you know you you all like I said in the in the in the, the first thing that I said is. Always have a plan B in case. So when if you if you have a, only one camera with one SD you know one SD SD card slot, make sure you you probably have a laptop. Bring it with you, and whenever you you're resting or maybe having some dead times in the wedding, transfer the files. Uh, at least you have a two backups, right? Like, right. Uh, it's a good I mean, if, if if I'm if I'm on that position, that's what I'll do. Okay. Yeah, because not everyone would have the opportunity to, you know, like buy like, uh, you know, yeah. uh, say two thousand dollar mm -hmm. camera right away. Another like, another right? backup camera, right? Everyone yeah. started, you know, um, and you know, you also give that expectation to your clients, you know, uh, to begin with, right? So, mm -hmm. um, so that, so that way, um, they they know that you know, like you're not gonna be like run gun, like shooting like uh, full like you know eight hour mm -hmm. clip or something like that. It doesn't abuse yeah. your camera, so. So, you know, um, but I mean, if you're really going in a wedding, you know, like a big event, I, I would, would still suggest either have a backup or something that has, you know, uh, yes. with dual slots. Yeah. So, yeah, because well, I'm, uh, in the first big or small, I think it's always nice to have a backup um, uh, with, for example, the client pays you not that much. You know, you have to find a way to, because you're just starting, right? You have to find a way with that budget to be able to, you know, uh, make sure that you're going to deliver the product with the client nicely uh, or maybe go beyond expectation, right? So yeah. it's, it's always nice to think that way, um, even though the budget is very limited. Right. Okay. And then what, once you, let's say you wake up in the morning, so do, do you back them up first on your computer or sorry, on your external hard drive or you upload them online, offsite. Yeah. So like what? What first? Yeah. First, I do when I wake up in the morning. I you know make my coffee, <laughs> <laughs> the which is back up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the first thing that I do, and I sit down and I uh, usually I transfer 
um, the fi the files on my iMac. That's where all the files that we have, and I don't really I don't really use my my traveling laptop for editing at home. I use my my um, iMac for that. Okay. Um, when I transfer it, usually I have to um, um, uh, hard drive, uh, backup one and backup two. Um, so that's what, and usually the, the, the first hard drive that I transfer it in is the one that I'm using for editing in case, at least in case that fails, I, ha I still have another files for that, uh, for that wedding. Okay. Which is, I didn't have an experience where uh, my, my hard drive failed. Um, I had an experience where my SD card failed. That's okay, the that's thing. Yeah. So. <laughs> Which, which is the good thing about it is um, I already have a plan B and C and I have a backup camera. So I made sure that if one camera fails, there's another camera uh, that that's still filming, right? So. Right, right, okay. Yeah, it's like me, like since I've got, I used to have like three, three cameras. So what I, I guess the first tip I would give, especially to, you know, uh, event photographers out there is make sure your cameras are sync together, like the time timestamp um like me when i edit, edit on lightroom i go by the time so mm -hmm. that way i know you know like five cameras let's just say you know all cameras when i put it on the lightroom i know which one to edit first right because mm -hmm. uh you know i used to have like a shooter that has like a you know um a different timestamp so when i put it on lightroom um you know it, it's got like they're it's, all over the yeah. place right so they're not it's mixed up yeah mm -hmm. yeah so it's 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 kind of hard to kind of sync them all together and then um because when when i deliver to my clients i always put put it on let's just say uh preparation you know like but per per section or per scene you know preparation or ceremony or reception right so it's just you know organizing organizing your stuff and then um you know, like uh, when I, my file structure, I always go by, I always rename it like 2021 and then mm -hmm. underscore 01 January 02, you know, for the day. So, because yeah. I used to have like, uh, for example, like John's wedding and then Mary's wedding, you know. <laughs> so it's yeah. hard to like see them, you know, when you're, when you're, when you need to edit, you, you, you need to, well, you go by the name, right? So, well, maybe for well, some, it might work. So you're more work. organized than me. What I do is I just <laughs> put it there um, on the folder on the, the MacBook or Apple. You can just click, um, what do you call this? Um, organized by name or something like that. That's okay. what I do. And then when I import it to the timeline, I just need to click the first file and put it on the, six, on the um, timeline. And it will just put everything there by order. Is it in, okay? Chronological. Yes. So okay. yes. So I think that's the good thing about the. Uh, I mean, I think with you, it's more on about editing, making yeah. sure that everything is you know. It's a thousand photos, so it has to be. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, For a video, it's more when I when we're recording, it's already continuous and. Yeah, I don't really update the timestamp, which is yeah. weird. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. Uh, yeah, with with the uh, with you you know Carl, you know one of my uh, mm -hmm. friend there. Shout out to Carl, Camera Eight Studios. Yeah, when he shoots with me, I always uh, because he's a freelance, right? So he also shoots with other people. So I always ask him to make sure that his timestamp is synced with mine because he might oh he yeah sync with other you know photographer. Mm -hmm. So that way, when I edit the files, you know I get to see them. You know yeah very nice. So uh, you know that's that something I would uh, recommend. Uh, Keep that in mind. And then in terms of backing up, I usually have uh, uh, like hard drives. I always buy hard drives like every year. So there's 2019, 2020. Um, I used to have those, uh, what do you call this? You know, like the small, um, like laptop, you know, portable. But I, now I'm, I'm using like, um, uh, like the, those big hard drives. I always buy the four gigs. Like, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. four, four terabytes. Uh, so four eight terabytes. Gigs. Every year. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so, so here, I, I always buy this. You know, I've, oh, I've, the big I've, ones. The big ones, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, so these are four, four. Is like it, every year, I buy. Is it connected to a system or? Is, yeah, so it is connected to uh, like a docking station, you know, for those people that 
want to want to see how it works, I'll post some links below so you can see where it, where you can find it, and that will be something I would recommend. Okay, so I think like I think with that with that hard drive, it's really really more reliable compared to the one that I'm using, which is those portable ones. Yeah, um, I, I found it. It's, it's more reliable. Yeah, that's true. Plus, because they've got I mean, it's still mechanical, but uh, the portable ones. Like they're they're small. I mean, portable. You know, you, I bring it anywhere. So this mm -hmm. one just stays at home, and then yeah. I do uh, online backups as well. Uh, once I'm done editing, um, I do use. I host my website. or sorry, my photos on my website. That's where I keep all my uh, client access and everything, which is via Smug Mug. And also, I'm going to post the links below so you guys can have a free trial. And what I like about it is. Um, I also get an app, so of course I pay for it yearly, but I get an app uh, where you get unlimited, it's unlimited uh, photos, right? So I can mm -hmm. just throw everything in there, even my personal ones. Uh, it, it isn't a cloud, I know, I know some people would react, right? <laughs> but it is safe, you know, I've got, because aside from that, I've got Google, what's you call it? Google Photos and Amazon Photos. So those are my phone backups, right? So, but I have an app, okay, for the, uh, the Smug Mug, where I, you know, uh, I get to see like all all the photos, uh, like everything, you know, including the videos, and that's the nice thing about that is it it, it kind of uh, it's unlimited, right? So I, I don't have to worry about like yeah and stuff. And and you can access this and access no, it anywhere, access right? Anywhere. Like for example, if you're in the Philippines, you want to check a folder of a wedding, you just go to the that system, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah so I don't know if you can show the camera. So and it does back up my phone too, like all my photos. Well, I can't mm -hmm. really show everything because, you know, for privacy, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's like automatic uploads, iOS 21, 2021, uh, it's a picture of my daughter. Uh, that's great. Yeah. And then I upload that's, my- That's video. for another blog, right? That's for another blog. <laughs> that's for that, yeah. <laughs> that's a, yeah, the, you know, the tutorial. Yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you, you know, for, for those who are starting out, uh, and I'll probably say to invest on 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 your backing up backup system. I think that's where we're at right now. You know, on this topic yeah. is to make sure. Um, yeah. Right now, I don't had an I didn't, I never had a problem with the uh, the portable ones because I made sure that it's always you know I remove the dust and make sure I don't move it too much. Um, I have those portable ones, which is the SSD that I use for traveling. Um, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, with the, uh, it's all, but like, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to, uh, invest with that. Um, and I've heard nowadays they have a, uh, NAS system that yeah. you can, Robo. you can, yes, that's, that's really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to buying those ones and invest with that, uh, system. Uh, at least I can edit anywhere, uh, you know, uh, without bringing the, uh, the um the hard drive that i have and if i have an editor which is not not you know if working from home at least i they can access the files um online right so that's another i um deal with the future but if you're just starting out i mean an external hard drive is good but as you grow then you invest with the right equipment that that will help you yeah true so yeah and and especially you man like you 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 shoot a lot of videos. So they're like gigabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes. Like on, on a typical wedding, how, how many gigabytes does it, you know? It's between 250 to 400 to 500 right. gigabytes. So do, do you, do you, so what's your policy? Uh, not policy, but uh, like how, how long do you keep them? You know, like is it, uh, does the client know you keep yeah. them for like a year or? Well, on my, on our package, um, the client owns the uh, the files already, okay. so if I finish filming their wedding, I always I always tell them that oh you guys if you guys wanna wanna see uh, some footage of your wedding and you really want to see it right away while waiting to the uh, hi uh, highlights or the full video, you can get a copy of the 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 raw footage, uh, which is. Um, which is, you know, they have to bring a hard drive and then I'll transfer it there and then they pick it up. 
I mean, some most of the videographers don't give the raw footage because for them it's uh, giving the. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, but for me, it's a nice way. Uh, I, I I look at different way where, um, it's helping me backing up the files too. So if they have the copy, and I don't have to worry about you know, uh, especially I don't have the uh, that kind of system which is really secure yet. Um, so that's my you know, plan B or plan C, backing up the files, right? And it, it's, it, it, what I do with the, 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 raw, the, the files is I just make sure it's organized. If they want to see the ceremony, then they have to click camera one, wide shot, then they have to check. Uh, I always make sure their expectation is low compared to getting the final product because I always tell them that, oh, it's a raw footage, it's clip by clip, it's not creative at all. It's raw. It, the color is dead. So I always tell them that so they don't expect too much that, oh, we had the raw footage. It looks nice and creative. No, I always make sure that we're on the same page with that. Okay. Yeah. So when I gave them the files, when they click it, usually they don't even look at it. That's what they said because usually they get it. Uh, maybe the full video is almost done, right? So when they watch the full video, they don't even look at it. So pretty much it's helping me to back up the files. That's, okay. that's the really, that's the point of it. So. Do, you, do you give them like, um, probably mostly USB, right? Or not hard drive or DVDs? I still give, I still give USB um, and I still give DVDs. <laughs> it's, I've, it, well, I, it's hard for me to get rid of that part yet, the DVDs, because it's, for me, it's a nice way to, um, marketing too and it's it's like a souvenir to the client when they saw the dvd with their photo you know printed photos in there um for it's, it's still a nice way um of giving to the client like a souvenir because usually they give that to their parents and in the, I, was, I always think in the long run after five ten years if they saw the dvd and maybe their grandchild or something oh what is the DVD, right? Like this, this is, it's more classic. Right. It, it gives the value of it in the future. So for me, I, I think that way. Plus they have the USB still if they want it and they have the raw footage. Okay, so. that's nice. Well, would you consider maybe uploading or backing up like, uh, or I don't know if you're already doing it like online or uh, like on the cloud, you know, because I know it's video, yeah. it takes a lot of bandwidth, right? Uh, we, or are you going to back up the whole raw footage we, or it's just uh, the edited? We, I don't actually put it online. Um, what we do is we have a website that we go to, which is um, MediaZilla. I don't know if you heard of it. Um, it's pretty much, um, I put everything there. Uh, highlights, same day edit, engagement video, love story, full video, everything is there. Um, my clients from 2019 to 2020, uh, they have access to their full video online using that using that website. We have a subscription that we pay yearly. And okay. once they click the link that we sent them on their email, it once they click it, it's going to look like a DVD digitally. So they're, they're going to bring it to them. The link will bring them to a site where they can view their video. Uh, like, uh, you know, when you when you watch a DVD, there's a menu. Right, like a uh, yes. So that's how it looks like on the on the first part of uh, on the main page of the link. So it's it's pretty much a DVD digital where you can click. Oh, this is our engagement engagement video. Click it, then you can watch your engagement. Go back when you're finished. Watch the highlights and the full video. So that's that's really our um, um, top package with our most expensive one. Um, and then they get they get that website they, we call it video website that we give to our clients but for 2019 and 2020 even the the other package that we have gets that as well because we want to make sure the social distancing right like to give that to them as well when they watch their video online yeah for sure okay on the top of my head oh, okay yeah do, do you have a youtube channel you know where, where you put in your you know your, your same day edit or you usually use vimeo and I just started in the YouTube and uh, I mean, like for me, 
uh, we yes we do we have a, a youtube channel for our wedding films and we have a i have a youtube channel personally as well which is still in the making <laughs> but i have a few videos that i want to put there but so stay tuned if you want to see some crazy stupid stuff <laughs> <laughs> okay right uh, and yeah Okay. Yeah. Just, just want to ask, like, if you're, let's just say ready to, you have, um, cause I, I've seen you have weddings back to back to back to back, you know, do, do you, you know, like, do you format your card or do you just copy paste? Like what, what's your, what's your take on that? You know, format your memory card or you just, uh, uh, use another, like, you know, if you've got spare memory cards. So, so you, I have you? lots of, I have lots of memory cards. So if whenever we have a, back a uh, back-to-back wedding um i made sure i don't use the same memory card um so when i go home at night now it, now if it's back to back i make sure that I put aside all the cards that i use for today's wedding and then i still have a bunch of uh memory card that i'm gonna use tomorrow for tomorrow's wedding okay so that's what i do i always i i don't reformat, reformat. it right away i made sure that it's backup because I had, like I said, I had an experience where I formatted one SD card and I haven't even copied it yet. So <laughs> that's a really nightmare. That happened to so me. Far. I mean, uh, <laughs> times like that, you know, it will happen to everyone. Uh, just have to be careful. Mm -hmm. um, experience. Yeah, you know, experience is your is your best uh, teacher. So, uh, yes. yeah, we're almost done here in our part. So, um, in, in terms of, uh, so yeah, you, you do have like lots of memory cards. So, so, so that's nice. Um, like, do, do you still keep your gear onto like uh, what do you call like a dry storage? Um, at home? You, yeah, at home, or do you just put it in the uh, put it on your like uh, bag? Well, what I put it, I just put it on my bag, so it's really easy to access. Uh, what I have is, if you can see right there, I have a dehumidifier. Oh, okay. So it's very, it's, I put it near the equipment, which is really here. Um, so that what, what it does is it dries the air. It doesn't make it humid. And nice. it helps with the uh, appliances and equipment. I don't know. That's how I think maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it helps. Yeah, it's, it's always nice. <laughs> and with my, and on my bags, there's always like those uh, bags. Yes. Yeah, so I, I still put it there. Make sure I'm extra. Okay, so yeah, so so that's great. So, you, do you have any question for me, uh, Dean? No, actually. <laughs> uh, no, I just want to say that thank you so much for inviting me here, and I'm, uh, like I said, I, it's always nice working with you whenever we're in a wedding, and um, I always, um, I always believe that it's always nice to have a good working relationship with not only photographers with everyone True. in the wedding um, with in the wedding industry from the planners dj mus uh, you know musicians uh, priests and everyone as you know as much as possible make a good working relationship with them because at the end of the day um, they will know you on how you work with them and that's how you get that, I don't know. With me, with me, that's how I get my referral and my clients because people know you're you're genuine with it. I mean, some people doesn't really want to work if they don't like someone. They don't want to work with them. Yeah. That's 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 for them being real. Uh, but you know, uh, for me, being in the wedding industry is uh, it's really personal for me. So it's. If, if you're genuine on what you're doing, people will feel that. And if they, if they feel that, that's how they're going to like you. So if you, uh, yeah, just be nice and try to be creative and connect with people. And yeah, with working with Zyron is very, it's very easy. And because it's always give and take whenever we are on one location, we always make sure both of us get the shot. And if, if for example, in the ceremony, if we cannot, we, we cannot do take two, right? We already know uh, working with someone that you've been working before is a good thing because 
you already know where you will put yourself in and you, you know where they're going. So that way um, you'll get, you, you, you both will get the shot that you wanted for that, for that uh, moment, right? So it's really important uh, to have that kind of relationship. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for the compliment. So <laughs> it's really nice of you. Always really working with the most uh, Thompson and his team. You know, uh, um, so many like great experience. You know, um, especially with clients. You know, um, and yeah, it's just like and you're right. You know, like a good relationship, right? So because not only with like you know like talking into photography, but like in general, right? Like. Mm -hmm. you know like about your lifestyle like outside photography so that, so that's basically what i meant right so yeah um um in terms of like you know like let's just skip to this one uh, question here um do, do you still sorry do, do you do you still use any other editing platform or i mean like um editing software you know to 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 edit your photos to back up your stuff you know like uh you know. Well, um, I only use Premiere. I tried uh, using Final Cut before, but I didn't really like the uh, um, the the look and feel of editing in Final Cut. I like it more in Premiere because I feel like there's more. Um, you're able to. Uh, it's user friendly in Premiere for me compared to the final cut because maybe i don't know that much in final cut so i i mean i'm still uh open and learning different kind of uh, uh software i'm trying to learn more about the binchy result for hmm. color grading so that's the, the, probably another step that i really want to do uh, but so far i only use premiere uh, uh on editing for everything so so far everything's good Good, yeah. I want to learn like you, you know. Like I'm only editing with using iMovie, so <laughs> that's definitely that's we can probably set another <laughs> um, like this too, so we can probably get a little bit of uh, introduction about Premiere. It's pretty easy um, for me. Like I said, I had more. Uh, I I get more hard time on editing on Final Cut than Premiere, so <laughs> awesome. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so where they can where can they find you? They can find me at my home, especially right now. It's <laughs> been on social media. <laughs> uh, well, we we have a website that uh, www.dinnerofourfilms.ca, uh, and we actually just put up our commercial line, uh, corporate video line on on. We have a website for that as well, which is uh, www hothousestudios.com uh, um, you guys can go with, go there and see some of our work and also our Facebook page Dinner Over Films and Instagram Dinner Over Films and yeah please follow me and maybe you can see more love stories and maybe if you're getting married in the future contact me and Zyron uh, awesome <laughs> alright so I think everyone you know if, if, if you guys made it till the end just put or comment like high five you know so, so that way I know like which one actually stay until the end. Uh, you know, I, I thank you everyone for your time, right? So uh, again, this is just like a uh, introductory, you know, overview on how we kind of do things in terms of like workflow, not the actual like detailed workflow and how we do things, but in terms of preparation, how you do it, backing up, delivery to clients. So I just want to, you know, see maybe how Dean, you know, how Dean's doing it, you know, or and maybe how everyone's doing it right so like everyone kind of does it differently uh it just you know part of it is you manage the expectations of your uh, client right so so that way that they're aware of like you're doing the again because you're doing this um well you know for starting out you know um as a hobby you know everyone started a hobby right so like for, for me you know being in the business for like 10 years so it's a hobby turned into like a, a lifestyle or business now right so uh, so I always, uh, you know, I always include in that in my in my uh, contract, in my uh, you know, pitch to my clients that you know, hey, I'm doing this. This is my gear. 
um, even though it doesn't really matter what I'm talking about, right? So at least they know that they know what I'm talking about. Uh, they can, you know, I'm their trusted like advisor in terms of like, not just like the technical stuff, but also like in terms of like customer service, right? Um, um, so, so yeah, so, so that, that's, uh, you know, something I would, uh, you know, advice, you know, for those that are also starting out or already starting out and wanted to get like more experience into uh, event photography and like wedding photography uh, or, you know, photography in general, right? So, um, yeah, so, you know, that, that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoy, you know, our quick uh, meeting. I'm not sure if it's really quick. <laughs> I have any final words, Dean? Uh, no, that's everything. Again, thank you so much for inviting me here. And I'm looking forward working with you again, man, and seeing you on the uh, on the events that we're going to have. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it um, probably in the next few months. Awesome. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining Zyberflex. We'll Thanks, see you again everyone. next time. All right. Ciao.